Luke chapter 2 verses 1 to 5 In those days a decree went out from Emperor Augustus that all the world should be registered. This was the first registration and was taken while Quirinius was governor of Syria. All went to their own towns to be registered. Joseph also went from the town of Nazareth in Galilee to Judea to the city of David called Bethlehem because he was a descendant from the house and family of David. He went to be registered with Mary, to whom he was engaged and who was expecting a child. Dear friends, do you think it was just by chance that Caesar Augustus called for a census? Did it just so happen that Mary and Joseph were traveling to Bethlehem, the very place the Messiah was prophesied to be born? God used a pagan emperor to bring about his plan. God's plan was for Jesus to be born in a manger. A king born in a manger? It was so unlikely. But Jesus was no ordinary baby. He was God's son, sent in the most humble of circumstances. Luke chapter 2 verses 1 to 5 makes three important points about the birth of Jesus. 1. Jesus is born in history. Luke chapter 2 verses 1 and 2. When you make the crib every year, have you ever wondered if the story of the birth of Jesus is a fairy tale just like other fairy tales? Friends, it is not a fairy tale. Jesus has an historical context. He is neither a myth nor a legend. He is both historical and verifiable. 2. Jesus was born in David's birthplace. Luke chapter 2 verses 3 and 4 What I think about this Bible verse is that Jesus was born in the birthplace of David, Israel's greatest king. Nearly 1,000 years before Jesus' birth, God has promised to David through the prophet Samuel, Your house and your kingdom will endure forever before me. Your throne will be established forever. Jesus is the son of David, this promised king. Nothing in our life is an accident, but happens according to God's plan if we are ready to listen to the voice of God. 3. Jesus' birth is attended by hardship. Luke chapter 2 verses 5 and 6. Mary and Joseph went through many hardships during their journey. Who says that following God's plan is easy? Just because we face hardships and obstacles is no indication that God is absent that we have missed his will. So dear friends, remember God is in control of all things. Nothing in our lives is an accident. All of the suffering, inconvenience and discomfort caused by the decree of Caesar was actually the loving hand of God working things out to accomplish his purposes in his own way. God wants to change your troubles into trumpets if you will only let him perform his work in you.